What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 10 funniest fails on live TV. Now things go wrong all the time and that includes live television. Today we'll be showcasing some of the funnier fails that are just hilarious to watch. With that said, if you guys are interested in entering my weekly Amazon gift card giveaway, all you have to do is simply be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment letting me know you want to be entered in. As well, if we can get 5,000 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 10. Chairman Falls Off Chair In 2008, the chairman of the Joint Budget Committee in South Africa was being interviewed live on the South African program View from the House. Things didn't go exactly to plan, and halfway through the interview, the chairman fell off of his chair giving a whole new meaning to his work title. In the footage, the chair makes a loud cracking sound, and it's pretty obvious that the guy is concerned as soon as it happens. Nevertheless, he powers on with the interview until 10 or so seconds later when the chair completely collapses underneath him. I think the funniest thing about this clip is the way the camera switches so quickly back to the presenter, and she literally doesn't look surprised in the slightest. To actually digest um, and go through the documentation that is uh, going to be presented to the public, mm -hmm. and uh, the opportunity for proper engagement is actually after the tabling of the... Number 9. Baboon Boob Grab In 2013, Sabrina Rodriguez of the Fox 40 News Channel was doing a report on baboons in Sacramento, California. She was reporting from the Lodi Grape Festival to find out why baboons love grapes so much with her baboon co-host, Mickey. Now obviously Mickey had more than grapes on his mind because he immediately grabs onto Sabrina's boob and gives the camera a massive smile. You've gotta hand it to Sabrina though. Throughout the entire incident, she just keeps like a professional face on and continues with the broadcast. I am being joined right now by Mickey the baboon and we're going to be, he's trying to cop the feel a little bit, <laughs> but we're gonna be uh, talking a little bit about the Lodi Grape Festival that is happening this weekend starting today. Number 8. Hockey Commentator Slip Up This clip is only 5 seconds long, but it's 5 seconds of pure comedy gold. If you don't know what an innuendo is, it's basically when you make a suggestive comment and that's basically what this guy did. Now keep in mind, obviously he didn't intentionally mean to say this and right after saying it, he's completely embarrassed. And that basically explains the instant face of regret after he claims that one of the players was standing in front of the net with 8 inches of his shaft in his hand. Probably not the best way to describe a hockey stick. He's standing in front of the net with about 8 inches of his shaft in his hand. He's standing in front of the net with about 8 inches of his shaft in his hand. Number 7. Crazy Weather Map Corey is a weatherman who had a spot on commentary of this January 2015 Fox 10 weather broadcast. According to Corey, the weather map basically generates the temperatures itself, and usually it works pretty fine. Not so much this time though. The map was showing crazy temperatures like 2385 degrees, which is around the melting point of steel. Instead of calling the weather cast off, Corey runs with it and gives a hilarious commentary. There's not much you can do in situations like this, so I'm glad that Corey decided to take like a comedic route. The video instantly went viral and now has over 6 million views. Get out of anywhere along this 60 years. A very warm surprise is starting to heat up as well at 1300 degrees. So uh, again, the safe spots seem to be Chandler and Mesa. Scottsdale is doing okay so far, but uh, you know, you're sort of surrounded by some pretty intense heat. So, you know, again, I'm not your dad, but I would get out while you still can. I think steel boils at about this temperature, so Cape Creek, there's probably nothing left up there uh, right now. Uh, so don't even bother looting up there. It's not going to be worth it. Number 5. John Nicely, Crystal Meth In June of last year during an evening news broadcast, the anchors John Nicely and Mallory Maddox were performing a segment where they were reading from the Twitter hashtag in the 90s I thought and uh, things definitely ended up taking a bit of an interesting turn. One of the more popular tweets that popped up on the stream read, in the 90s I thought nothing will ever be as cool as Crystal Pepsi. However, Nicely managed to mess up the reading just a little bit. Instead of reading Crystal Pepsi, he somehow managed to say the words Crystal Meth. Interestingly enough, the 1990s saw Crystal Meth explode in popularity. Now, I'm not saying that Nicely is a meth addict, maybe he just watched a few too many episodes of Breaking Bad. Either way, it was a really funny fail. Use. Remember the green flashing, you know, in the dial Oh, zone? yeah, I sure yes. do. And I uh, thought nothing will ever be as cool as crystal meth. Pepsi. And. <laughs> oh, yeah. What did I crystal say? Crystal Pepsi. Said meth? Yes, crystal Pepsi. Pepsi sorry. <laughs> well, in the 90s, I thought the sound of dial up internet, we've all been there just waiting. Number four, Tarantula Crawls onto Anchor. 
In 2014, Fox 5 New York had a guest called Jungle Bob who works at a reptile center called Reptile World. He brought along three animals, a tarantula, a giant frog, and a huge lizard. He came onto the show to dispel myths about some of the animals. Most importantly, the rose-haired tarantula. He thought that the best way to dispel the rumors and myths would be to let the tarantula walk all over the anchors of the new show. The spider walks up the male anchor's arm first, and after that, Jungle Bob let the spider walk around on the female anchor's hand. Of course, it doesn't end there. He grabs the spider and puts it directly onto the woman's chest, and uh, it stayed there for the rest of the 10-minute segment. I mean, it's not like the spider moved around or tried to attack the anchor, but it can't be nice to suddenly have a giant spider walking around on your chest. J Jungle Bob, do you have insurance? <laughs> We are fully insured, yes. <laughs> and she'll just stay there the rest of the show. She's going to do a little web on you. That's okay. Wow. I, I, this is like I, cutting your teeth. I, I, All right. Listen, you lady. You to Rosie. Who else do we Rosie, have? Rosie, have that you there. and I got to make a deal here. If we can move here. this a little bit here, we got yeah, a we very, very these. interesting... She'll actually stay on She'll stay right there. You just chest. Stay, stay calm. If anything goes wrong, yell out for Dylan. He's here to help you. Okay? A very, very cool amphibian. Now here's amphibians a lot, the, the slimy animals, the newts, the salamanders, the toads. You've got a frog for and us, And of course right? the frog. So people are afraid of frogs, usually wow, not, this right? this is a huge... Number three, Weatherman plays with dog. Griffey the weather dog is a pretty cute dog. He belongs to this meteorologist and has become some sort of like a weather show mascot. Early last year, Griffey decided that he didn't want to wait for his owner to get done with the broadcast and instead just wanted to play a game of catch. You gotta give it to the guy though, because even with Griffey's constant distractions and barking, he managed to make it through the entire broadcast. I think that the funniest thing about this video is that the meteorologist really doesn't care that Griffey's interrupting his broadcast. He just keeps on playing with the dog and has a huge grin on his face. That was what it feels like in Springfield. Nine in Lake Ozarks and high pressure right now is sliding off to the east. And as it slides off to the east, look at the winds. Here comes Friday. <laughs> hey, you can see the winds really strong out of the southwest. Oh, gosh, we really want to play. Yesterday, he was quiet. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a different dog. Our west winds start to move in, and it gets even warmer heading into Saturday. Notice the system rolling just down to the south. Clear skies this afternoon. <laughs> okay. Take a look at future temperatures here. Number two, snowboard fail. When it snows, something that everyone loves to do is grab a sled, go up to the closest hill, and then slide straight back down it. In this video, a news reporter is showing off just how fun sliding down a snowy hill can be. And uh, yeah, that's before she crashes face first into a giant snowball. The best part about this is that as she was sliding down the hill, she was going on about how the most important thing you could do while riding a sled on a snowy day is to have fun, use your hands, and steer. That was right before she steered herself directly into a face full of dirty snow. I don't even understand how she managed to hit the snowball either. It was like the only one on this massive field. She could have gone literally anywhere else and been fine, but nope, straight into the huge snowball. I've been getting lessons from the semi-pros, right? This morning on the proper way to sled down a hill that's more muddy than snowy. They say, no matter what, just have fun. Use your hands and make sure you steer. Oh, boy. <gasps> from the snowman. <laughs> I'm okay. Frosty, on the other hand, has seen better days. He already lost his head before I... Number 1. News 4 Tucks and Tumble Paul is a sports reporter from News 4 Tuxin, and a lot of people describe him as the most hardworking sports reporter in America. And it's kind of easy to see why. He's at a game between the Arizona Wildcats and the Colorado Buffaloes. And even though he's giving a live broadcast outside of the stadium, he has to be inside to cover the match in three minutes, even though walking in would take him 20 minutes to do. So he decides to run to the game in a suit and tie. Unfortunately for Paul, it turns out his shoes aren't the best for running and he slips over almost instantly. He ended up being fine and made it to the game just a little bit later than he expected. The funniest part about this one is the fact that the in-studio news anchor doesn't even react to the events on screen, even though he's very clearly trying to hide a smile. As for the game itself, as mentioned, it literally tips off in about three minutes and I have to speed walk about 20 minutes to get inside of the MGM Grand to make sure I cover all the highlights and of course cover post game for you tonight at 10 p.m. We at KVOA News 4 are very committed, so committed. I'm going to sign off now because I want to get there by the time everything tips off. So I'm going to hand the microphone over to my buddy Danny here and go Wildcats. All right, hey, Paul, get you inside. Enjoy that game. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock. Game, we'll see you back here at 10 o'clock. And there's our video on the top 10 funniest fails caught on live television. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop a like down below and subscribe so you can stay notified whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.